Meta Platforms, the company behind Facebook, Instagram, and WhatsApp, has made a decisive leap into AI hardware. It's acquiring Revos, a Santa Clara based startup designing RISC V AI chips, the open source alternative to NVIDIA, Intel, and AMD. Revos isn't a garage experiment. Backed by Intel veteran Lip Bhutan, it raised $250 million and was valued at around $2 billion. Its first processors are slated for 2026 and now with Meta's backing, they could actually accelerate faster than planned. Let's be clear, this is actually less about offense and more about survival. Meta is spending, wait for it, 66 to $72 billion in 2025 on data centers and AI infrastructure. The bulk of that, billions upon billions, goes straight to NVIDIA. Meta's in-house Meta Training and Inference Accelerator, MTIA, project has made progress, but Zuckerberg isn't satisfied with the pace. Industry insiders says he's actually frustrated at how slowly Meta is cutting reliance on NVIDIA's GPUs, which still power almost every big AI workload from Llama training to Instagram recommendations. This is where Revos comes in. RISC-V isn't just another chip. It's actually an open instruction set architecture designed to break the proprietary stranglehold of ARM and, more importantly, NVIDIA's CUDA ecosystem. Why does that matter? Well, this is why. Because even Amazon and Google tread carefully around NVIDIA. Reports suggest they brief Jensen Huang, NVIDIA's CEO, before announcing new chips to avoid supply chain retaliation. That's how much power NVIDIA wields. So by bringing Revos in-house, Meta is actually saying this. We don't just want cheaper compute, we want freedom from CUDA capacity, captivity. Meta's reverse deal isn't actually happening in isolation. The AI hardware wars are accelerating across big tech. Google has its own tensor processing units, TPUs, and the new Axiom ARM CPUs powering Google Cloud. Microsoft is rolling out its uh, Maya AI accelerators and Cobalt CPUs for Azure. Amazon has the widest in-house silicon portfolio with Trainium for training, Inferentia for inference, and Graviton CPUs. Apple continues to double down on M-series and A-series chips with dedicated neural engines for on-device AI. Even OpenAI and Anthropic are rumored to be scoping chip design partnerships. That's the context. Every AI giant wants to control its own silicon destiny. By acquiring Revos, Meta is signaling that it won't just rent compute from NVIDIA forever. It's actually preparing to join this elite club of silicon sovereigns. Wall Street wasn't impressed right away. Meta's stock slipped 2% on the news. This could also be because of OpenAI disrupting Instagram and Facebook, the launch of Sora 2 alongside the TikTok and Instagram style social video app, which was covered extensively here on front page today. Make sure to check it out. Well, if you haven't already, but well, coming back, this isn't actually a short term play. This is about strategic independence. So when your North Star is actually super intelligence, AI as capable as or better than humans, you don't want your entire future locked to a single supplier. This isn't Zuckerberg's first flirtation with chip acquisitions. Earlier this year, Meta tried to buy Furoshia AI, a Korean chip maker, for $800 million. That deal fell through, unfortunately. Now, with Revos, Zuck gets not just technology, but a team capable of building full stack AI systems from chip to cloud. That's crucial as Meta builds out its massive Louisiana data center, funded by a recent $29 billion raise and spends more on AI infrastructure than nearly any company on earth. Let's actually zoom out. NVIDIA still dominates. 
Its GPUs remain the backbone of Meta's AI efforts and will continue to be through 2025. Reverse chips won't hit production until 2026 at the earliest. But symbolism matters. This deal is Meta planning a flag. We won't just be NVIDIA's biggest customer, we'll be a real competitor, end quote. Because in AI, the real question isn't just who has the best models, it's actually who controls the silicon those models run on. Meta's acquisition of Revos won't topple NVIDIA tomorrow, but it actually signals the next phase of the AI chip wars. Zuckerberg knows this. If you want to build trillion dollar AI platforms, you can't just rent compute, you need to own the chips that actually power them. And in that sense, this move isn't just about semiconductors, it's about power leverage and the long game of AI. Well, with that, it's good night from front page on AIM Network, India's definitive media organization and voice on everything AI and technology. Front page is powered by MachineCon 2025 and invite only residential summit for GCC heads exclusively brought to you by AIM Network. Please right now don't go anywhere because we will be back with Devant, yes, where we bring you the latest tech and tools without the fuss. Right after this, join us if you're ready to, well, soar. Think AI, think AIM.